Hi, this is Watson Garden here. I want to show you with you about this topic, very important topic for our business. Open house. Open house success. Well, you, you have heard many people told you before. In real estate, open house don't really sell the home. Usually less than 10% of the buyer come through open house. Some even say as low as 3%. Well, you know me, I have shared this in many different conferences before. I always, always have up to 80% of buyer coming through open house. Because open house is the best time to meet with the buyer. Best time to explain to them, to show them the home, know where they are coming from, and a non, no pressure, no rush type of environment. So I've been doing very well. So Todd told me to share this with all of us, all of you, all across America and Canada. And I hope you can put it into good use. So come to Open House. I got four letters I want you to keep in mind. Okay, Open House, O-H. Now the four letter acronym for G-O-S-H. G-O-S-H. It's like, oh gosh. G stands for goal. O stands for orchestrate. S, system. H is harvest. And let me go point by point. Number one, you need to have the G. You need to have the goal. Now, do an open house is not something that you do for three hours. You know, sit down on the couch, turn on the TV, welcome the visitor, say hello to them, pass out some candy, get their name, and then say goodbye. No, no, really. Open house is something that you want to use the opportunity to maximize the chances of getting the home sold on the spot, to meet the buyer, answer questions, meet their needs, do anything that you could to try to get the home sold. I know many agents have this habit of taking open house as a chance to meet more neighbor who would come back to the open house, try to capture more listing, try to get more buyer. And I have seen buyer interested at home, but the agent was all over the map, wasn't there for them, and buyer walk away. And a lot of time, chances of selling has been lost in our industry. So just keep it in mind. So this is a, your main goal is to get that property sold. I'm not saying that you don't say hi to a buyer who wants some help. You can do that too. You can still meet with some other potential seller. But your main goal always, always be there to get the home sold. For me, I set a goal. Each open house, I want to have at least 100 buyer coming through the house, physically walking through the home. So I had to prepare the marketing, the campaign, invite lots of the buyer and their agent to come. Uh, agent and their buyer is more likely. And my goal is to get, like I said, 100 buyers. And out of the 100, try to get 10 offers for that property. If you can do that, you know your seller will be very, very happy. Even if you just do five, get five per open house, you're still very much ahead of the game. I have seen people say they do open house, have five families show up, and for weeks on, not on ends, no offer coming in. So those are not, not good. Not good, okay? Now, the second thing is, oh, I said orchestrate. Orchestra is like an orchestra. The conductor stand in the middle, in the front. He would lead a group of, uh, you know, anywhere between 10 to, sometimes 100. Or I have seen orchestra as big as 1,000. Now, you are the leader. You are supposed to synchronize, supposed to make sure that everybody do their best to come up with the best result. Now, everybody I refer to are people like a loan officer. I always have a loan officer with me at open house. Sometimes more than one or two or three different type of loan officer because it's different buyer have different type of need, as you know. Sometimes language need, some may have to speak in Cantonese, another one may need to have a buy home with a 50% uh, down or, or no documents, so all that kind of thing. I usually have the title officer get ahead of prepare for me on the thing on open house that I need before the open house even come about. And also a lot of time, escrow officers love to stop by to my open house just to say hello, to see how things are, and also try to get my business too. And you can orchestrate with all the agents in town. There are several hundreds of agents as buyer. You need to make sure that they are aware of your open house. You'll bring their buyer by. Many times I tell those agents, say, if you're too busy, just let your buyer come by. Let them know who they are. I'll greet them. I'll show the home for you. You don't even have to be there. They make the open house so much more successful and so much more productive. Okay, now, the, the third one will be system. System is something that you would put in place prior to the event. and something that we can work over and over, a long established pattern or something that will produce results. Now, for, for 
the system I meant you could have something that you can capture the own the, the buyer and the visitors information their names their phone number so you can text to them or call them their email and uh, often time I even have the address I'll write a card to them for people that I like or people I know or somebody who are very good buyer prospect I'll write a card for them in a day or two to get something in the mail imagine somebody go to open house after they've gone through five something even ten of them or maybe you've gone through open house many, many weeks, but you are the only one who took the time to write something that means a lot to them. And those are potential buyers. They increase the chance of them buying. Even if they don't buy their home from you, there's a good chance they buy it from you in the near future because you come across somebody you care. You're somebody who can be trusted. And one key thing a lot of people don't do is that I spend a lot of time visiting people after the open house. Anybody come by, I try to go to their home. Now, not everybody will want you to go to their home, but there are some who would. You can go to their home you know, in the evening. Most of my Saturday and Sunday evening are spent at somebody's home living room or in the kitchen. You get to know their situation, where they live, what they are their needs, and so you can better serve them. So that's important. So I like to uh, uh, have this system running continuously. If you follow this system, that would work out very well. And the last thing would be itch is harvest. Now, when I say harvest, think about your business being like a farmer. Now, in the old day, when they go to the field to collect all the crops, everything will come in. They will include the dirt, the leaves, the excess, you know, thing they had to go through. They're going to sort through. They're going to process it. Then they're going to clean it up. They have to uh, store it. They have to package it before they can sell for some money. Essentially, our business is a harvest too. Our business is a harvest of people, harvest of name, harvest of businesses, harvest of buyer. So it's up to you to collect the name, clean them up. Make sure some are not a good buyer, like you put them aside. Some are maybe a future buyer. So you may buy, you may not buy from their home, but in the future, they will be buying a home from your listing, from your, your future open house. That's why the, the open house I'm holding, usually a buyer coming to me from years ago. Some are months, few months before that. Some even are from people who bought from me years and years later, but they did not buy. They send their brother or sister or their children. Sometimes mother go out, bring daughter by because of the relationship we build. That's why I'm able to get so many buyers and able to sell for 80%, uh, up to 80% of the buyer of the open house. So this is all the information that's helpful to you. Please leave me any message, any question. I'll be glad to help you out. And I'll be doing a more comprehensive thing on open house later on so that you can spend more time and give you all the material guideline. And uh, if you ever need anything, now just let me know. I'll be glad to provide all those things for you. Okay? And all the best to you. Remember, open house success is achievable. If you just got to plan it, you just got to execute the plan and just got to work and uh, get results for you and for your seller. Thank you.